I'm still in my jacket. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Grindelwald, home to the iconic Eiger Mountain. We are back in the Bernese Oberlands in my favourite part of Switzerland at the moment, Canton Bern. In this video we will be exploring the town of Grindelwald, hiking from Grindelwald up to the first lodge viewing point, looking at the accommodation, the food available and then going back down to the valley, exploring some of the lakes along the way. But this view here, it's 5.30 in the morning. Look at this. I would recommend waking up early just so there's no people around. It's very, very busy. Let's get going and explore this beautiful region. Grindelwald, most probably one of the most famous places in the whole country. It's certainly very beautiful. I want to just share with you the biggest mistake I've made whilst visiting in the past was not leaving the village itself. I would highly recommend taking the scenic train up to the top of Europe. Price information below. A few interesting facts. Grindelwald has the first cable car built in Switzerland and there was a James Bond movie filmed there. Let me know in the comments if you've seen the village in that movie. We are on the hike up to the first lodge. This is halfway from the Grindelwald village. I'm gonna give you a spin round here. You can get the cable car. This is a tough one. When I say it's a tough one, I mean I'm sweating a lot. You can also drive up. So there's three stages with the cable car. This is the first stage. I'm road running these new shoes I've got on here. You need a good pair of shoes, sticks, and your bag. You can have a meal up there. You're gonna see that as well. I'll give you some price information at the next stage. I'm gonna sneak some Harry Bows in fill up on water and yeah if you want a fondue you've got to earn that you've got to sweat before you get the fondue at the top I don't even know what we're eating up there but let's go Allez vas-y I've made it to the first lodge just to show you how quickly the weather can change I'm going to spin you around we've got the stairway to heaven here so you come up these steps you'll get that view in the morning I hope and then there's the lodge Welcome to the lodge. This is where I'll be sleeping tonight. I'll put the price information below in the description box. I'm gonna have a look around basically, get some food and check out the views if we can see anything in the morning with all the clouds. I'll show you how cloudy it is. Definitely worth coming up. So let's do a imaginary walk tomorrow. Comparing. So it's the next day, 5.30 in the morning. We're gonna catch the sunrise, but this is what it looks like coming out of the room. Not bad, not bad at all. Wasn't a bad night's sleep. If you are going up to the first lodge, I would make sure you pick a nice clear day. Look at the comparisons here. 80 Swiss francs to spend the night in the lodge. I would recommend booking it before you arrive because it does get extremely busy. The first night I had goulash, it was delicious. On the second day I had a beef burger, it was 25 Swiss francs. I've just left the lodge. I'm gonna give you some information about the gondola prices. If you can't do the hike, Look at this though, come on. If you can do the hike, you've got to get, get up and get on it. If you can't though, there is a thing called the Jungfrau Pass. I think it's 210 Swiss francs for a three day pass. And that will take you all around the Jungfrau region. So you could even go from here to Lauterbrunnen. The information will be below in the description box. Blows my mind how there's snow. Look at this here, snow. It's July and there's still snow around. I love this canton. You know, it's really nice to just get away from the city, fresh air and, you know, just get away from normal life. It's like you're in the Lord of the Rings up here. We're gonna go and see a beautiful lake now. If you saw the Lauterbrunnen video, 
there were some stunning views there but in my opinion this if you've got to pick between the two if you're a, a tourist I would come to the Grindelwald one it's just my opinion so I'll see you at the lake a 45 minute hike from the lodge you reach the Bacolpsi lake I'm just going to explain some things whilst we're here so you've got these signposts everything's very easy to follow a little hut here it does say no camping but I'm going to give you a spin round here and you'll see some tents wow it's just breathtaking be curious to know if you can fish here as well absolutely loving it so I've just been informed that we're going to be doing a five hour hike back down and then possibly taking a train to Grindelwald so let's keep going oh there is a man fishing over there actually wow really beautiful <laughs> it's not like the Swiss to break the rules I'm gonna eat some dirty snow just because you've got to if you come up here Look at that. that's a snow sandwich <laughs> mm, so refreshing so put your safety first, don't walk on it, but eat it. Now look at this backdrop here. There's always a plan B. Plan A is too dangerous. Plan B isn't that bad, is it? There is the first lodge and the viewing point. I'm gonna give you a bit of information here that I've just learned. So you can walk from there through Grosse Scheidegg, which is the big pass. And then you've got Kleiner Scheidegg, which we did in my other video, the Lauterbrunnen video, which is here if you want to watch it. We're gonna head down this way and see where we end up. As I'm standing here, I might as well point out the activities. So you've got paragliding. This is zip wires coming down here. The gondola stops and you can get a lovely picture and a view as you're coming up and down. Cows down there, so many things to do. It's a beautiful little paradise, but my favorite thing of everything is the glacier over there. We have reached the end of that epic tour of Grindelwald. I'm just here at Lake Thun, stunning lake. You have to drive past this to get to Interlaken, Lauterbrunnen, Grindelwald. There's a beautiful town over here called Spies. We will be filming that. We have Interlaken coming, Zurich, Basel, Lausanne. We're going to try and do the whole country because it's so beautiful. I did want to ask you about Asia again. I'm thinking of going to India in January and February. Let me know below if you'd like to see me in India. For now, I'm going in the water because my legs are killing me. I really want to stress the hike I've just done to the first lodge do not do that hike if you're not used to walking because it's a tricky one information is below for prices and i'll see you in the next video cheers guys